I mean, if you take a look at both of these indexes over the past year, the Shenzhen and the Shanghai indexes are up about 80 percent apiece versus 12 months ago. And we've seen these steep sell offs that are uh, spurring Chinese officials to take steps to stabilize that market. That's adding to investor concerns over slowing Chinese economic growth. And that weakness has carried over here to the Nasdaq, specifically American depository receipts, ADRs for Chinese companies that trade in the U.S. Uh, so those are among the biggest losers here on the Nasdaq today. Take Baidu. That's the Chinese Internet. Search giant, search giant. It's down about 4%. It's one of the worst performers on the NASDAQ 100 today. Also, JD.com, 21 Vianet Group, Weibo Core, JA Solar. These are all down notably in today's trade and actually have been really for the past month as well. So also weighing is uh, Sinocorp, Sinocorp, excuse me, and NetEase. These are two of the largest holdings in the Global X social media ETF, which is also down about 3% today. That's thanks to this China-related sell-off. And Melissa, I'll just note, mm -hmm. traders and strategists that I've spoken to today say that uh, as we continue to see this volatility play out in the Chinese equity market, we'll continue to see potentially a hangover here, uh, both in the ADRs here as well as the Hong Kong H share. So, All right. Something expect, to watch. Expect more of a roller coaster ride.